So you wanna book more clients in your photography business. But the thing is, you produce good quality work, you're active on social media, you're pitching yourself to brands, you feel like you're doing all the right things to try and grow your photography business, but you're still not booking either clients or you're not booking your dream clients. For example, like you might wanna be landing $2,000 projects, but you're still only landing $500 projects. And so here's the thing. You might be missing three super important reasons as to why you're not actually booking clients in your product photography business. Reason number one, your pricing doesn't accurately reflect your customer experience, your branding, your vibe, or your quality of work. It's like buying a business class plane ticket, but you get an economy seat. If you're spending like $9,000 on a business class plane ticket, you'd be expecting a certain level of quality and experience and certainly not the economy experience. And so the same goes with your business. So let's say you wanna charge, I don't know, $2,500 for 10 styled images, but you're still whipping a number out of thin air that feels good to you as your final price, which means that you won't be able to properly communicate your value via a professional proposal because you haven't done the work to carefully map out the project. And perhaps your website and overall like look and feel of your brand isn't of a high quality either, which can also impact your client experience. It's like when you go to get your hair done at a nice salon, you get the the champagne, the fit out of the salon is beautifully decorated, which like makes you feel bougie, makes you feel taken care of, makes you feel valued. And the same goes for your business. It's not just about the product, but how you package that product as well that creates the experience and helps the customer see the value in your price. And so coming back to that example of you wanting to charge $2,500 for 10 photos, if you're still sending your quote via a written email to saying like, yep, 10 styled photos is $2,500, this is not supporting a premium experience. So how do we actually create this experience for our customer and ensure that our brand is hitting the mark. We do an audit of our business cosmetics and systems and processes. An audit will help you see the gaps in your messaging, your customer experience, processes and systems so that you can ensure your prices are reflecting the quality of your services. Now I have a free audit worksheet for you where it goes through a whole list of questions so that you can actually see where the gaps are currently in your business and you can then see the bigger picture of where you want to be because what gets measured gets improved. You can't fix a problem if you don't know where the gaps are. And so in the audit worksheet, it gets you to think about specific questions that all relate to customer experience, both external and internal, your pricing, your cosmetics, so your branding, everything like that. Now, I will leave the link to that free audit worksheet in the description box below. I really do recommend that you do it. I've done it for my business and it just gives you a lot of clarity on where things are currently at within your business so you can build a roadmap to help you get to that next level. Number two, is you aren't communicating your value well enough when you provide your client with a quote. So perhaps you're getting ghosted a lot. There could be clients trying to get a discount out of you or ask you if you can lower your rates. So we have to remember that majority of our clients, they're not product photographers. They don't have the experience to know what's required of a creative project, how long it'll take, what the planning process is, how long a photo takes to edit, like all the things that we do in a project. And so if you're presenting your clients with a price of say, $2,500 for 10 photos via the written email, but you're giving absolutely no breakdown or information to justify this number, you are actually increasing your chances of being ghosted and reducing your conversion rate. And so the way that you then communicate your value is via a professional proposal that considers the five different phases of a project. And what this then does is it indicates to your client that A, you're a professional business owner and you've carefully taken your time 
time to address their creative needs and present them with a solution. So attention to detail. B, you actually care about their business by breaking down the requirements of their project in a succinct and clear way that they can understand. And C, you have the skills and the knowledge to actually get the job done. So this brings me to my next point of why you may not be booking clients. Number three, you are not speaking your client's language. So for example, if you are still trying to convince people why product photography is a good investment, you're actually talking to brands who have a small budget of like two to $400. Brands who have already invested in product photography understand the value of product photography. So this comes back to point two. How can you communicate your value so that they choose you? Now this is marketing 101, but think of all of this when we're learning photography, we're building our business. We're so focused on getting clients that we forget the foundations of what a good business is actually built on. You really do have to think about who it is that you're talking to, to ensure that your efforts on social media, your efforts in your pitching are actually working for you. And the thing is, we could just keep posting to Instagram, just posting our photos every day. We could keep pitching to clients as much as we possibly can. But if there's no intentional strategy, behind those things and you don't know who you're talking to, you're not carefully crafting your message to talk to the people you're trying to attract, all that work is going to fall on deaf ears. Because at the end of the day, it's not just a matter of how good our work is. It's about all the other things that contribute to our business as a whole, like the things that I've just gone through in this video that help you book clients, that help you get seen, that help you convert. Now, once you've done your audit and you've got some really good systems and processes in place, this still isn't quite enough. You can't expect the work to always just come to you. So I recommend watching this video here where you can learn top tips for pitching your services to brands. Now, if you've got any questions, leave a comment. Let's have a conversation. Let me know how I can help you. Let's chat.